Feels like we lost the we way, we lost the love now. Welcome to another edition of BWTV. I'm AJ Woodson, Editor-in-Chief of Black Westchester Magazine, along with me is CJP and Capella Gray of the Four Square Peace Project. What I want to say about, I want to intro these guys, what they're doing is so important um, in the time we're going through a lot of senseless gun violence in the nation, and especially in the city we live in, in Mount Vernon. They gathered 53, 54 artists together and put together this peace project. Um, artists that formerly had beef with each other on the same track. So, um, former gang members, you know what I'm saying? And they came together for the love of music. So, I want, I want y'all to talk about what made y'all do that. How did y'all come up with that? Um, well, at the very beginning of, um, at the very beginning, the very, very beginning of the, of the idea of the Peace Project, um, there was a protest that was happening on um, Gramercy and Fourth Avenue around there. And um, while the protests were going on, um, I called I called one of my bros and basically we had a conversation about how just protesting and yelling and saying stop the violence, stop the violence is not necessarily going to actually stop the violence. So we figured that there needs to be something else done. You know what I mean? So um, so I brought, uh, so then I had a conversation with CJ, of course, called of CJ and everything. And basically we came up, we, we basically came to an agreement that we could use our talents as musicians and um, created minds to, to gather 54 artists and just create an album or just a soundtrack that would just demonstrate peace and that would really push, that would really promote peace and, and, and just the coming together of the city as opposed to just, you know, <laughs> coming up with signs and everything. And, you know, not to take away from the protests or anything like that, because the, the, the protests um, and, and their battle front is very important too. But we were just at Mount St. Calvary the other day, we had a performance, and one um, of the speakers said something that it was like, everybody can't do the same thing um, right. to influence the change. Um, so this is just what we do because we love the music and stuff like that. We're good at it. So we hope that, you know, bringing this project out um, will, will impact the, the, the community and, and the nation in some kind of way. Absolutely. A lot of people talk about Martin Luther King. Yeah, he marched and he marched, but back when he marched, there was no social media. That was one of the ways he had to get the word out. Right. And second, his marching was at the end to mean to change legislation. People are just marching now with no demands, no legislation, no thing. You can shut the Brooklyn Bridge down for two days and people will go to work the next day and not go care. Right. You know what I'm saying? And there's no disrespect for the people that do that, but there has to be something more than that. And, 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 and absolutely what you said, um, um, we all have to do our part. You know, it's a lot of things I don't do when I write, and so that's why I do what I do. But I want to talk about how you got all the artists together. I know working with large groups of people is a hard thing. I mean, like we just kind of kept it spontaneous. You know what I'm saying? We 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 just held on to the purpose. So every night we'd be in the studio, and like Capello would just be like, call like he would produce a beat and be like, "Yo, all right, boom, boom." And then I'll say, oh, this would, be, this would be cool for this idea for the song. And then, yo, call this artist, this artist, this artist. And we just, it was just spontaneous. Like, we just called people up. And they came, like, the same night or the next day. A lot of the same night type of situation. They, and they just locked in and we got it done. Because right. a lot of them, I mean, once we told them what the, what the purpose of what the purpose of the project was and everything, they were pretty much on board with um, with just the whole idea of putting together the album for the for, to promote peace or whatever. Like they were really they were happy to be a part of the project, so it made it a lot smoother, a lot easier. The Civil War going on at City Hall right now. Y'all showing the adults how it should be done. <laughs> you know, come together, work together. I mean, like if you can bring that many people, you know, young people in the street, you know what I'm saying, that got beef with each other to work together. I mean, you know, the adults should be set, bro. Well, I mean, not so much showing how it should be done, but I, I think that the project impacts like several different levels, like impacts the community, impacts the artists that's involved, and like you said, with the stuff going on in City Hall and Mount Vernon, um, all the enemies in the city of Mount Vernon, like politics and stuff like that, they they love the idea and want to support it, so they have to put their differences aside in order to work on the project as well. Mm -hmm. So, we, you know, as things continue to progress, we hope that that makes a difference on, on that forefront as well. So what would you say was like one of the most, you know, biggest difficulties you had doing this? If any. Um, working with a different personality, we made it work obviously, but um, 
you know, just deal with the different recording styles with the, with the different artists and everything, and just putting it all together, you know what I mean? It was a challenge, but we definitely made it work. Um, well, we're considering starting like a foundation, like a four square foundation to, um, you know, take the movement further um, than, than just the album. But as of right now, we just focus on putting out the album. Now, 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 like it's going to like if this blows up bigger than that was set, and we'll look for another one. So we'll follow up. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got a lot of material <laughs> that we can push out. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's actually different um, communities and, and, and different um, people that reached out to us to come to their cities and, and do um, do something like this, like get their young people together and do something like this as well. So it's definitely something that um, we'll consider. So yeah, one of the tracks I heard, so y'all had like nine, ten tracks, but it's, it's, it's 11. Okay, so y'all did a lot of tracks in the last time. I know one of the tracks I heard was a track about Black and Blue. What impressed me about that is the artists and the men were able to articulate the life of a black officer. Right. When he faces like too blue for the for the black community, but it was still black as far as you know, white cops are concerned, how he walks that line. That's kind of dope for a for you know, kind of real dog. <laughs> right, so on that record, um Chef Reed, he's the producer of it, he did such a great job with, with the production on that. Um we had um uh, Christian also who was the bass player, we had Travis Campbell who was a guitar player on there, we had live music as well as I mean, those samples and all that in there. We had um, uh, uh, an artist, a female artist by the name of Ella Reed, she did such a phenomenal job with um, with the hook. Um, I split the hook with her and I was on, on that song as well. And the two rappers, it was two, actually two rappers on there that um, that did the, 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 their um, the visual for the depicting the black cop, and that was Quentin Gilmore and another artist by the name of Topic that were together. And, um... Did they, like, sit with an office? Did they sit with some black cops? Or how they even come up with... I know it's, it's, it's easy imagination-wise, but I mean, I listen to it, it's, it's kind of accurate, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, they kind of, um... Ella and Capella... That's cool. They, Ella and Capella? <laughs> they, uh -oh. they, they put the hook together, and then, um... And then... Send it out to Quinn and, and Topic, and they kind of side with the record, and that's what they came back with. As, as far as like speaking to an officer or anything like that, I'm not sure. But at the end of the record, we actually got the um, the former deputy um, chief commissioner, um, Anthony Mitchell. Right. He was the one who told me about this. Right. He was at the end of the record. He did like a poem at the end, um, like, like expanding on what this one was about and, and how it really is to be a um, black officer as a law. Shout out to Mitch too, because he did a lot of work with the, um, with the gang units, you know what I'm saying? When he was on the fourth seat, he was very hands on, you know what I'm saying? He still could respect in the streets. Absolutely. So, like, <laughs> he's like, yo, yo, you know, they give him that respect. So, um, I know now another joint I just heard was that anthem joint. Right, I'm Fairly an anthem. anthem joint. Like, Mount Vernon, it is about time. Mount Vernon needed a new anthem. Absolutely. This is so, yeah. The idea behind that song was because um, the, the song is called, it's um, it's actually called Money Earning. So basically, back in the day, Mount Vernon, we had the nickname Mount um, Money Earning Mount Vernon. And due to all the violence and all the crazy stuff that's been happening in the city, um, it gained this, the nickname um, Murderville. The actually, it had Murderville first. Yeah, back in the days, we used to call it Murderville. Was that Money Earning? Yeah, Money Earning. Yeah, it was called Murderville before it was called Money Earning. Well, that's where that came from, yeah. Basically, we try to get back to the money earned. But actually, that's get away from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we try to get away from the money yeah, earned. Yes, yeah. I, I, I think that's good. But, uh, so what do you hope people will see when they hear this? What do you want them to get from this project? You know, from the beginning of the time, the urban community always got like a bad rap, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we just try to show a moment of unity and, and great music, and that great music is the universal language and that it can bring people together. So that's pretty much the message that we're trying to set across the board. Like, starting with Mount Vernon, yeah, but hopefully that um, it, it picks up in the rest of the world. Y'all can reach the cast at your age and have a lot more influence and through music. You know what I'm saying? That, that's very important. That's one of the big things that when Capella brought the idea to me that he, he touched on that, like, you know, when you listen to music, like, subconsciously or forefront, like, you're, you're kind of relating to what you're listening to or almost living what you, you're yeah, listening absolutely. to. You, you, you pick up things from the things you listen to. So um, when you have a whole, like, 53 different people, young people that 
other young people in the town, you know, like look up to or respect for the whole music thing and they're talking about positive things, um, I think it, it, it makes a big difference. Music is very, very um, important and, and influences, and that's another reason why I respect what y'all are doing. You know what I'm saying? What um, future plans are after this? What are we are what's coming, what's coming next? So what's what y'all doing? Um, Capella has an album coming up. Okay. I, I got an album, a couple of artists on the Bedrock team um, Life, uh, Ella Reese, uh, Quinn Gilmore, Money Gang, BB, this there's a whole bunch of artists and, and a lot of the artists that are on the project too have like been manifesting themselves and, and, and getting ready and, and actually had things prior to this project and kind of put those things on pause in order to work on the project. So trust there's definitely a lot of music coming from the, the Westchester area uh, very soon. People don't see this side of that. They're the generation. You know what I'm saying? If y'all were sitting there Somebody robbed the bank and y'all went to jail and all different people come up. Know. Everyone would know your name. Y'all be all over it. You know what I'm saying? But for something like this, the media doesn't, the mainstream media doesn't cover us as a people. Right? And we do positive things. And and I we respect what you do. Absolutely. I respect what you do. Because we need, we need someone on our side to, you know, bring, bring the right story out as well. So now that you got the people's attention, they're going to see y'all. What, what's the message for, for, the, for, the, for the youth out there? For, Streets. I guess one thing that I have to leave everybody with is like nothing, nothing's impossible. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing's impossible. There's a record on there called Incredible that touches on that too. And yeah. it's whatever, whatever you're going through or whatever your life situation is, there's, there's never hopelessness. Although, although it may feel like that sometimes in the world may make you feel like there's hopelessness. There's always um, something that you could do to to pick yourself up and to pick your loved ones up and and build something and move forward. This is BWTV's, your boy AJ Woodson, Black Westchester Magazine, and that was Capella, Gray, and CJP of the Four Square Peace Project. Yo, I just want to emphasize this. You, you see on the news, you see how they, they depict our youth. You don't see nothing positive. They all, you know, they're gangsters and thugs. But there's a lot of young men like these two. There's a lot of the youth that's pod that's doing some positive things. And that's why we started Black Westchester, to change that narrative, to promote that. And this is one of them projects that everybody needs to check out and everybody needs to support these young people so they can continue doing positive things. We can't, we can't, we can't complain our youth is not doing positive things if we don't support them when they are. So I want everybody to go out there and check out the Four Square Peace Project when it drops. This is the time we all stand up, no more shit. You and me put your hands up. This is